everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with one of the most exciting intersections of medicine and technology today, which I've had the opportunity to tell you about a few times already this year. A double amputee has proven himself able to operate a pair of robotic artificial limbs using only his brain. Last week, the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory announced that over the summer, Les Baugh, who lost both his arms 40 years ago, was able to move and manipulate objects using a pair of the laboratory's modular prosthetic limbs. Baugh operated the artificial limbs the same way most of us operate the arms and legs we were born with, by thinking about it. The Hopkins team also developed a virtual reality program, the Virtual Integration Environment, or VIE, to test the neurological connections necessary to operate the artificial limbs. The VIE allowed Ball to learn how to use his new limbs before he'd ever actually had them on. In so many ways, this story is just fantastic news. Next up, scientists have completed the most detailed survey yet of the deepest part of Earth's ocean and have discovered, among other things, a never-before-seen species. It was during a survey of the Pacific's famed Mariana Trench, which contains the deepest depths of Earth's oceans, that researchers discovered a new species of snailfish. That's it right there. The images on your screen right now were taken at a depth of over 26,000 feet, making this the deepest living fish ever captured on video. The survey also retrieved rock samples from the trench, took measurements to evaluate how the trench and the organisms it supports are being affected by climate change, and studied the unique organic molecules that allow organisms to survive at such remarkable depths and which might also someday be useful in developing treatments for human diseases, such as cystic fibrosis. The survey was named the Hadal Ecosystem Studies, or Hades Expedition, and was conducted by the Schmidt Ocean Institute. Finally, from discovering new life in the depths of the Earth to discovering the stuff of life on a world beyond the Earth, NASA's Curiosity rover has definitively detected organic molecules on the surface of Mars. Curiosity's SAM instrument suite, built at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, tested mudstone from Gale Crater, the rover's landing site, and found concentrations of organic molecules. That doesn't mean there's life on Mars. Planetary conditions suggest that there isn't, at least not life as we know it, but it could suggest that there was life on Mars at some point in the past. Previous analysis of the same site showed that its environment once contained conditions suitable for life, including liquid water and warm temperatures. The Goddard scientists speculate that conditions on Mars were once the same as the conditions on Earth when life first appeared on our planet. These latest findings demonstrate that curiosity continues to live up to its cost and to the excitement it generated around the world when it landed on the Martian surface over two years ago. An amputee learns to operate a pair of robotic artificial limbs using only his brain. Ocean researchers find the deepest living fish ever discovered. And Curiosity finds evidence of organic matter on Mars. That's the good news. You were a little whiny at first, but you settled down. You got frosty in the clutch, and you came through. I'm proud of you. <laughs>